Hello everybody and welcome back to another let's show. Today is a little bit of a different one because I recently built a little residence of mine. Now this is completely fictional and it's supposed to basically be my, if I were rich I'd probably own this kind of thing. And as you can see it's quite large. I, I just, uh, I, I, so many people around me also had their own little builds so I needed to have more on myself and so I sat down for like a week or two and now I have this to show for it. And something else you may have noticed, my, my, my old microphone quality is back, that's because I finally managed to figure out what was the issue. I, I re just realized I, I used the wrong microphone and, uh, in the settings so that's the, that was the problem. So, yeah, yay for good audio quality again. Anyways, let's start with the tour. I'm gonna be going floor-wise. So I'm gonna start on the main floor. Now this doesn't have any basement because there's so much attic space you to get lost in anyway, so you don't really need one. And it's also better for floods and stuff like that to not have a basement. It just really has more headaches than it brings. As you can see I just entered the main lobby. It's nothing really that special. I, d I don't like this really extreme grand stuff but it is has some nice grand atmosphere as, and this is a bigger version of the uh, Titanic reception room uh, chandelier. That's basically the enlarged version of it because <laughs> you gotta have something like that. This is a little bit of a reference for those who get it. Good job. We're gonna start in this wing. This is the west side block. Now I'm gonna be pu uh, pulling up two things I put together where you can see a little bit of the layout. So the building we are in is the west block. Then there's the east block. The in connecting it is the entrance we just were in. And coming out of the east block is the northern wing and on the other side where there is no in the western wing there is a residence which is not for uh, for me but it's for guests so that's where the guest house basically is and with stables and everything and some other nice amenities. Uh, the west block is the private area and the rest is public. And, w uh, and that's w um, and now we're in the west block, meaning this is private, that means we have a study here. This green study is my study, as you can see, because green is my favorite color, so it's my study. It's got this w huge round desk thing, it's really nice and has an amazing view to the front um, garden, as you can see, with yeah, excellent views, really. It even has like this little ship model of the uh, SU Österreich. It's my, gonna be my yacht, so of course you gotta have that. It, you got some books because it's a study, of course. And over here is the red study. These are actually connected. Here you have two smaller desks, so if someone else uh, from my family wants to study, they can do it here, basically. It's a secondary study area. Now down here we also have the red bedroom. Now each bedroom here is pretty much identical other from the color. It has some benches, a bed, uh, some seating, a few books. And it has each of them has a private bathroom as you can see. And it's, uh, each of them has the same bathroom. Because we don't want to discriminate. Now on the other side we got the white bedroom. As you can see it's not very special, it's just a white bedroom. Going upstairs, we got a, a more special bedroom. The green bedroom is of course my bedroom. As it's double the size uh, as, uh, as other, the other bedrooms. And yeah, it's very luxurious. Even more benching, seating, a lot of books as you can see. A huge triple bed <laughs> with a like, little desk thing here where you can put up a TV to watch in bed. Yeah. And yeah, uh, an even bigger bathroom. It's yeah, very luxurious. On the other side, we got two other bedrooms: the yellow bedroom, as you can see, and on the other side, we got the blue bedroom. And that's all of the private bedrooms for family and stuff. 
and that's the private quarters we won't get to that anymore walking over here we go get into public areas this is like the reception area basically with like a orchestra stand over here to entertain the guests a fountain in the middle because you gotta have that a lot of seating and we can now get into the main attraction uh, ballroom as you can see it's absolutely massive it's inspired by the ha mirror hall in Versailles as you can see with a lot of mirrors and it has a lot of windows as well and there's obviously an orchestra stand and a lot of space for ta for dancing obviously <laughs> it is in a lot of these rooms here are uh, two floors high so the second floor really doesn't have a lot a lot of space because a lot has been taken up by these main rooms we have a north wing colonnade this is basically your like balcony area where you can look onto the afghans and even go onto it we'll get into that a little later in the tour and next to that we have the main dining hall with beautiful stained glass windows a humongous fireplace yeah for atmosphere and for the warmth it's really nice and two ships on paintings my Wilhelm and my Arctic as you can see two, well, two of my recent ships yeah it was a little interesting to design them now we go into the crimson drawing room this is basically your extra lounge for the yeah for the mm, for the guests I guess and they have you know, got a piano over here a lot of books but for more books you go into the green library and it's also kind of a reading writing room so, uh, so yeah another room for them and at the very back is the blue library and museum so this is a secondary more in antique book library plus the museum so my ASL history is also documented here as you can see yeah it's a really big library and as you can see also f two stories high with ladders going to the books so that's a nice detail and now we get into the residence aka the guest room area we they got their little more private uh, library over here with like a little bit of seating they got like their little study over here so they got it quite nice they got a nice swimming pool area over here as you can see with a nice sun through the window it's uh, so a little more modern amenities because this is modern time even though it looks old that's because it looks nice we got some horse stables over here as you can see for four horses they can be here and enjoy life so that would be the first floor of things now let's get into the second floor now this floor is less interesting it's more over there it's residence but over here it's more now we're gonna get into the into the uh, servants areas in, in the main building at least because there's not a lot of uh, sleeping quarters they're mostly over there and over there over here is more servants but first we got the music room this is more of my a uh, my thing just a lot of pianos a harp a little desk uh, music stand for I guess violinist cellist i don't know so I guess for recording stuff and yeah a collection as well I guess or basic now we get into the hallway to the servants quarters as you can see it's getting very bare bones now because we make our way into the servants quarters as you can see there's a kitchen over here to serve everyone it's very small but it works there's a food store right next to it it's a very simplistic s design just so it works basically we got a dispensary we got a clothes washing room we got an equipment store as you can see for like i don't know a lot of equipment i like guess skiing stuff and everything and i guess gardening and everything we got a linen store so a lot of yeah behind the scenes stuff going on over here we got the servants dining room as you can see it is quite nice actually and this is where the servants dine and yeah that would be everything in the main building because over here and over there there's uh, this is the dining hall over there is behind the servants dining room is the blue library and museum so you because those here are two stories high so that means we have to make our way to the residence again here on the upper floor there's even more seating and 
another thing it, it's the cinema as you can see two stories high a little bit of the attic space as well and yeah this is where you can watch movies and it's very modern stuff here obviously and yeah the guests get to enjoy a movie night every once in a while i guess the, now we get into guest rooms here the hallway is a little bare, bare bones but we get a little lavatory over here for them they don't get private baths now each room here is named after like a uh, an area in Austria, so this is this Asteria room. This room, there's more rooms. Yeah, there's the bathhouse, for example. We got another room. There's six down here in in total. So there's a lot of space, each for I believe two people. Yes, for two people. So that's a lot of space. Twelve for uh, twelve for twelve down here and six up here. We got an attic store, the first of many, for uh, for the people up here. We got a cleaning supplies room. And we got an Austria room, the main room. It's a, like kind of like a... Yeah, a... How to describe it? It's kind of like a double bedroom, a uh, couple's room, if you could say so. Got another linen store and we got some more other couple rooms up here. And yeah, the, downstairs were the two the double single bedrooms up here, the couple rooms. And that would be all the guest areas actually, also including the third floor. That means let's move on to the servants quarters in the main building. That means we'll start over here in this little courtyard. This is the servants courtyard. This is where you can enjoy the sun, well, when the sun is more out, as servants, basically. Uh, uh, so they get a little bit of sun even when they are on duty. Now, they do get, like, Saturdays and Sundays off where they can also enjoy a stroll in the main gardens. But uh, on days like Monday through fr Friday, they have to go here. Now, surrounding this are attic stores again, as you can see, incredibly creepy. Yeah, definitely horror movie worthy with the small windows, or dark, bare bone light, a lot of storage. Yeah, it's a little scary. Let's get out of here. We got this massive windows at the main part. Even with another attic store, I guess this could also be like a little bit of an observatory with the big building, big windows, I guess. So yeah, it could put up a telescope and everything. Now you get into some of the servants quarters, we got the chauffeur, the chauffeur and sh head chef in here. And it's a double room, these are rare actually, most of them are single bedrooms. Here got some cooks, we got some more cooks and that would be it. We got some linen rooms again because we gotta need some linen rooms, even more linen rooms. And we got the lavatory and bathhouse, it's pretty massive as you can see. And it got a very nice bathhouse with two side windows looking out onto the four, the four gardens, I guess. We got another linen store, can't have enough of them. And we now got the butler, so you can see a little bit nicer. And now we got the 12th servant. Now each of these servants' rooms are actually identical, as you can see in design. So let's not get into them because they're boring. And yeah, let's get into more interesting stuff, like the main social area they they get. As you can see, they have like a little bit of seating, they have like a billiards table, they have a roulette table, they have like a little beer garden area with like a little, yeah, a pantry area and stuff. Just to enjoy life when they're not on duty and just have fun with everyone and yeah not think about their uh, their work too much and yeah r get a nice rest we got another attic store up here with a nice little very long here as you can see there's a little bit of a bulge that's because this is actually the fireplace from the dining hall going all the way up now going here this is a little more interesting the chief servants got a little bit of a bigger room as you can see with a nicer window and here is also the stairwell going down to like the kitchen and stuff we're now on the Ile de France floor and there's more servants and there's more attic yeah a lot of attic stores so I guess you could hoard a lot of stuff up here 
that's why also why I, like I mentioned before there's no basement because it just really doesn't make any sense and there's one last attic store up here and yeah that would be it actually it's a lot of space a lot of rooms but yeah it's also not the biggest but let's finally go into the gardens the four gardens have like this little drive up where the cars can park with this main fountain with like this little hut things and you got this main cafe over here where you can enjoy this evening set this is a really nice view by the way and there's this area is a little empty because i didn't really know what to do with them hi llamas and in these back gardens are a little more interesting these are like to stroll another main fountain yeah a lot of trees because trees are always nice i didn't have enough space for 20 a million of them but f uh, there was enough space for a few there's a little bit of a pathway for the horse stables going outside over here is the little study of the residence building there's another tree over there actually a little decorative tree and the aft exit because there's two exits yeah that would be the entire perimeter of the building as you can see it's pretty massive and i hope you enjoyed this let's show and yeah i uh, <laughs> if you like uh, content like this check out my normandy smoke room my shipyard uh, and my shipyard let's show videos because they are very similar to this and yeah and there's also other videos you can enjoy in depth videos where I go in depth on ships actually which are more than an hour and then an hour long most of the time so that's so if you want to I don't know uh, activate one of my videos in the background while building something or else, uh, something you can watch one of those in your free time and yeah if you like this leave a like Maybe comment what other things I could do and perhaps I'm always open to ideas because it's hard to find ideas actually. And yeah, subscribe if you want to and yeah, goodbye.